Hi guys! It's Amy with Aim to Plan, and today I am here with my monthly review of my 2024 planner lineup. I started a series, or I guess this is the second of a series of videos, where I'm going to be discussing my 2024 planner lineup. Um, it's one of those things where I feel like even though I make a decision in, like, for example, September, I might make tweaks add things, you know, just change it up. Um, and so just getting on every month and just telling you about like how my planner lineup has changed gives you some idea. I, I think at least, you know, could help, you know, just kind of motivate you, inspire you to feel not like locked down to just one particular planner lineup. Like don't feel like you have to decide and then just stick with it for the entire year. So that's kind of like the reason why I'm doing these videos. Also, it just really keeps me on top of planning for 2024. So that's really the big goal for me is to be able to talk out loud my planner system um, and tell you about like the different weeks. Um, I don't remember even what I said in September. Um, and so this is going to feel very fresh for me at least because I have some of uh, most of it's going to be the same but I have a couple of new pieces in here. And so um, yeah, let's just dive right in it, into it and talk about it. Okay, so you can see the stack is really large. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you it is one, two, three, four, eight planners and they're kind of broken up into these different eight planners um and so what i'm going to do is move the stack out of the way and then i can talk about them one by one so we're gonna start off i think with the most important one which is going to be my catch-all now this is a faith planner um, from 20, let's see, 2019. Um, and one of the things that I noticed or realized with the 2019 planners is that from March onward, it is exactly the correct date. And so I've decided uh, since I've been holding on to this planner for forever, I want to go ahead and use it. I did go ahead and already redate January um, to be the correct date. Um, and then February, I also redated um, noticing that someone wrote in this. I obviously purchased this. Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to fix that. But um, I did redate February. Um, and now I'm noticing those pages are full of other per uh, another person's notes. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to update that. But what I'm gonna be using this one for is going to be my catch all. And I want to um, be able to plan in this planner. So this is where I'm going to be tracking all of the things in the future. Um, I don't know if I'm going to decorate it or not. But I want to be able to just kind of use this I'm really going to be ignoring the scripture observation and application columns here. I want to put uh, big events in this section, anything that might be, you know, for that day, uh, any holidays, that kind of thing that would go in here. And then I want to use these two or like slash four sections for to do list. Um, and because this is my catch all, um, I want to put everything except for work, um, everything personal, everything home related, everything family related, anything social media related, all of those things will be on this catch all. Um, and I want to be able to, for example, have a section that is like social media. And I think I might use this bigger side that for social media, and then have like any chores in a section, um, anything family related. Uh, and these would be these bottom two sections would be for tasks. So any like categorized tasks, I would just put in these sections. And I'll do that week uh, to week, uh, I might use this for prayer list, but I want this again to be just the planner, uh, I will have more specialized planners that I'll show you later that are going to be more of like the journaling slash, um, like in the moment type of stuff. Uh, but this is going to be mostly the, the planning side of things. With that being said, though, I do have a plan to have daily pages and these are the daily pages um, that I am going to be using. I've already gone ahead and dated it for January, at least I should put that in January. Um, but what I'm going to use these for is to be able to break down my days even further into hourly blocks. Um, I did set this up prior to purchasing the um, work plus life planner. So now I'm wondering if this is going to be redundant if I need to do both this with um, like doing some like minor task time blocking here um, and putting events in here and then also doing a time blocking planner um so yeah that's that's one of the like i'm trying to decide on that one but i want to be able to use this and this this might be what i do i think what i'm gonna do again like i'm just talking this out loud i think i might use this just for journaling um and so it'll be my creative journal all right i think i'm gonna do that all right so 
note to self i'm going to use this for creative journaling so i'm going to set that to the side then one thing um, that I didn't mention with this planner is that it has like these pages in, in between. That's like a habit tracker and then it has sermon notes, study notes, and then loving well this week it says God, others, and me. And I really actually like this for faith journaling. Um, and so I don't know that I would change this. I think I would just keep it as it is um, and do some faith journaling in these sections. So it would go from like... It would go from this page, which is going to be the planning page, to this page, which would be faith journaling. Um, but now I'll see again. Like this is this is why it might get a little bit complicated because I also have a faith journal, which is this thing, um, and I needed to <laughs> not flip to that page. Um, but I have these like notes in here and like all the different things where I'm writing out and journaling out um, about like the Bible studies that I'm doing, the devotionals I'm reading, and you know, just all the different like pieces and bits and bobs of things that I have for faith journaling. So how can I combine this into that? Hmm. Okay, well, now I'm talking out loud again, I'm just talking out loud. I took these pages out, I was actually planning to put these pages in between each week. But maybe now I can put the faith stuff in between each week. And so this planner will then be a combination of my catch all and my faith. And I think that might work. Or maybe now I should just use this straight for faith. Y'all, you guys, like this, I'm so confused. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to leave it as my catch-all. But I'm thinking this might end up being my faith planner. And I might just go back to using it straight, strictly for faith planning. Because it's already labeled and set up for faith planning. I don't know. All right, I'm going to have to think about that. All right, now I'm like totally confused. I thought I had a plan and talking out loud. Again, like very, very helpful to be able to talk it out loud. But now I'm so confused. Okay, so let's go back to this. This, if I set this up as a faith planner and fully a faith planner, then I will need a catch-all. And so this will be my catch-all then, I think, um, and slash creative journal. Let me show you the other component of this. This is going to be... Um, the time blocking planner. Now, with time blocking, I feel like I could get away with using this or like using this for time blocking and set, setting up events and things like that. Um, but I don't know that I would have enough room to write tasks. Like this would be just writing out appointments and like focusing very specifically on appointments, events, things happening that day. Um, and then, I don't know though. See, because... See, I have this, but then I have this, and I think I would prefer to have this and tasks and journaling together. So it would be like events in this kind of like invisible column, and then the second half of this page would be tasks, um, and then I could journal on this side. Yeah, I, I just like that idea better. Um, so I think I will use this for daily planning. Okay, like this video is all over the place, but I'm going to use this for my catch-all. It will have my events, my tasks, and then journaling about the day. Okay, so that's that plan. And then this, I will not use as a catch-all. I'm going to use this to, as I mentioned in the video where I kind of uh, flipped through this, I think what I'm going to use this one for is to kind of color code the different planners that I'm in. Uh, so for example, it will be like if I am doing chores, chores will have a color and I'll be able to kind of mark when I'm doing house related activities. And then when I'm working, I can kind of color code when I'm working. Um, when I'm doing social media related stuff, I can kind of color code that. And so it'll give me a visual like kind of color chart um, of when I'm doing things. Um, and so I'm not going to put any events or activities or appointments on here. It's just going to be colors. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for this. Um, I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, of course, I can always change my mind, but that's kind of what I'm thinking for this one. Um, okay, I feel a little bit better now that I've made it through that. I, I have to have a catch-all, so uh, deciding that this is going to be my catch-all, that really helped out. Okay, so that is those four planners. Then very quickly, we're going to talk about these two. Was that four planners already? Yeah, I guess it was. Okay, so I have way more than four. They, they were just kind of built into some of the other planners. Okay, so I do have already right here um, the planners that I'm planning to use for my two daughters' memory books. Uh, so this is a 2019 planner. Again, 
March through the rest of the year is the correct dates. Uh, 2019 and 2023, 2024 match up. But then I went it through and made copies of like several different pages. Um, this is mostly just to be able to cut out these numbers and redate January and February. Um, these dates are incorrect. It's the wrong divider even. Um, and I think, I don't know if I... Uh, this one I did pull over, like this is, says October, but these are the correct dates, I think. Um, but this is the wrong, like, currently page. And let me see. Yeah, I, I need to redate this, right? So um, it's, it's January and February. I'm still trying to fix, but I know for sure I'm using this one. I did, again, make copies to be able to do that. I need to do that sometime probably this month or next month. Um, and this is Sophia's memory book. She is going to be seven in 2024. Um, and so I'm excited about that. She did pick her own memory planner um she didn't necessarily like the weekly pages but she loved the dividers they are definitely like very celebratory like she loved this one um and fun and so she she did pick it based on the dividers which is totally allowed when you're seven <laughs> and then rose i just pulled another planner out of my stash and just used it for her planner i mean this one i did actually already do the redating now for rose because um i like to keep their memory books to be you know, from birth to their first birthday and then from their first birthday to the second birthday. So like for the, the full year, um, it doesn't necessarily operate on like the, the correct like month system. So for Rose's planner memory book, I do start in December and go to November. So I know it's a little bit weird, but you know, she was born in December. And so I want to capture the fact that this is going to be for like a full, like her first year, her second year. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and so I did redate December already. And I think I did, yeah, I did January and February as, as well already. So I finished Roses. I just didn't finish Sophia's. But both of these, this one and this, um, Sophia's and Roses, they're both classic vertical. I'm going back to classic vertical for both of them just because I enjoy it more uh, to do memory planning in this I am right now so far behind with their 2023 planners and I think part of that is one I just had a baby um, and two for Sophia I decided to do a classic horizontal and I just didn't enjoy it as much so um, those are the two planners for the girls let's get into the specialized planners now okay this next one is my food log and I have just stuck all sorts of random stuff in here but what I have been using in the past um, and I might continue using it until I run out of pages but I have like these classic wellness layout pages like some I've written on like it's all over the place um, but then I have like these self-care pages um, but then once those pages run out I've got like these routine pages from the self-care extension pack or like the wellness extension pack and I want to go ahead and use them um, I feel like it would be easy enough to use it for breakfast lunch and dinner um, I do eat like five meals a day so I feel like I would be losing some information but I might just track it across the way and just have six um one two three four five six for Monday and then just do it like that um and just kind of use up these pages because they, it comes with several of these kind of routine pages um and so I want to use those up um and then yeah it's just like a lot of those and then after that, I have several like teacher layout, classic teacher layout pages, and I want to use these up. Um, and so I would just like get rid of this and then just go Monday through Sunday across the top here and then just do my five meals down each column. And then I also decided to st stick this in here. I actually might take this out though. I might take this out, but this is a dashboard layout um, in a like half letter size. And I think I'm gonna take it out. I stuck it in here just thinking I would use it just because I had so many other kind of random things in here. But I think I'm gonna take that out actually. Um, and then after the classic teacher layout, I have some big teacher layout pages. Um, and so I'm gonna try to use these pages up and it will just go, we'll just go from there. Okay, and so I do like tracking my food. Uh, food logging has been like, I don't know, it's just like meditative for me to think about and consider what I'm eating. And I'm getting a little bit older and it's nice to be able to track the food that I'm eating so that way if anything triggers like a like a physical health issue I can look back on my food and see what might have uh, like might have caused it so that's been really helpful all right next is my budget planner um, I have in here like so much stuff I am trying not to flash anything like super private on here all right but I'm gonna flip to this back section um, and so this back section here let me move this stack of planners it is so in the way Okay, that's much better. Okay, so for 
my budget planner. I have like this budget planner that I hold recently from Amazon. And so I'm going to try to use these pages, but I also um, decided not to use the day to day spending pages. These pages right here, just because I don't plan to carry this planner around with me. I had to go hunting for it, but I did purchase this from Timu. Um, it's like a micro size, almost a micro size. It's not exactly three inches by four inches, but it's close enough. And so I'm going to use this as my kind of like um, in my purse to track my daily expenses. And I think it should be fine because it has like five lines per day. And I think that should be enough for me. I should not be buying more than five things in a day. Um, and so that is what I'm gonna be using for the day-to-day -day spending. And I'll save these pages for some other purpose, but I do plan to, for the budget planner, start tracking or like bills on this calendar um, and then using the monthly budget sheet to break down our budget every month. Um, and that's going to be mostly for me um, if I want to do a family version of it. Well, it's it's a mix of me and my family. So I'm, I'm going to put it on those pages, um, but I'm, I'm going to take kind of these pages in the middle out. I don't need the income tracker. So I'll take these middle pages out and then just kind of flip over and do the monthly budget review. And then the back of it, I've been using to keep our like statements. Um, and so I have to blur that out because that's a copy of our bill. Um, but that's kind of what we're gonna be doing for budget planning. I need to put this in here. I'm gonna stick this somewhere in the front here. Um, so that is that. And then one final planner. This is last but not least, um, I am going to, and I've decided to do this, I am going to go ahead and make the decision to go down to one single planner for work. I feel like keeping up with two or three different planners might be too much for me. So for the month of October, I might change my mind in November, but for the month of October, I'm going to stick with this big dashboard layout. And so this is a current planner. Um, it is an 18 month planner. I am using pieces of it for 2023. In fact, I'm using it right now for work, um, but this is the 2024 portion. So January to December, and it's the dashboard layout, like I said, and it's just a chance for me to write all the events on this side. I can write um, my tasks on this side and, you know, just be purely functional and keep track of all the things that I need for work. And so that's my plan is just to combine all of my full-time stuff, all my part-time stuff. Um, I am a teacher. Just do all the teaching related stuff on here and just keep it, you know, to one planner instead of trying to split it up. It was fine to split it up, but it's also totally fine to have it in one. And I don't want to overwhelm myself because... You can see it's like so many other things that I've got going on. So this is the last but not least. I am definitely simplifying this. I know in the September video, I had talked about like having two planners for work. I just don't know that that's necessary. So we'll see if I change my mind, but that's the plan for right now. And then let me get all of these planners back up. So that was three. This is four and five. Six seven, eight, and nine. I'll put nine right here because it's a big planner. Um, so these nine planners are right now what I'm planning to use for 2024. Um, I am excited about this. I, I feel like I'm starting to kind of uh, solidify my game plan, even though at the beginning of the video, I felt like I was just like all over the place. I feel like it's starting to come together and I still have several months, um, two months to make some final decisions. So I am recording probably another video in November uh, just to have like a part three of like where I am in terms of updating and thinking about these different planners. Um, and then in December, I will do the final planner lineup, like the part four of my planner lineup. So yeah, that's it. Again, I hope this video is helpful just because you can kind of hear me talking out loud what I am using these planners for. Um, and you know, I how I like to separate everything um, is it might be it might be something unique to me, but it might give you inspiration for like how to categorize and compartmentalize your own life. So yeah, that's why I enjoy watching these videos. So I hope it helps you in that respect. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.